Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for a much anticipated main. Opening round here, scheduled for 12. Good work, toe to toe there. Both fighters got in on him. That was a glancing uppercut. Sometimes they can do damage, but that one didn't. Keeping him honest with a double jab up top. Teddy, if you're training Tommy Hearns' opponent tonight, you got a power puncher going up against him. What are you advising him? Well, obviously, you want to find a way to land that power. And what you want to do is try to find a way to catch Tommy standing up. Every once in a while, he stands up a little bit too tall. Maybe you can slip a punch to the left a little bit, slip that jab, and come with a left hook, and hope again to catch Tommy Hearns a little too rigid, a little too straight. An accurate left by Tommy Hearns. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish. The old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Doubling up that jab and served him well to the body. What an uppercut. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Not able to land the headshot. Tommy Hearns is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Blocks the headshot. Last 10 seconds of this first round. There's the combo downstairs. All right, listen. You need to create more touches, okay? Flip his right and cross. Look right down the middle. Look, you stand it straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. Here we go. Round two is underway. Wow, look at that, straining shots. Double jab right to the face. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. That's a good block by Tommy Hearns. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. No need to be on the inside. Halfway through this round here. That straight right unable to connect. And Tommy Hearns scores well with a big uppercut. Come on, keep that head moving. The Cobra's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Able to block and counter back. Hearns is now showing us something that could have a great impact on this fight, Teddy, and that's his ability to counter. Yeah, he's mixing it up a little bit. We know he can lead, we know he can get off first, but now this dimension serving him well. Circle him, move, move! He just missed that shot up top. Tommy Hearns is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. And we come to the end of round number two. The Cobra's corner has to come up with a game plan now. They need to advise their fighter as to how he can get away of that good old-fashioned one-two. No, what they have to do is tell their fighter that, hey, it's not against the law to move your head. Keep doing what you're 
what's doing. There's the combo to the body. He missed with that headshot. The Cobra's cheek is cut. You can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Tommy Hearns with a big right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Tommy Hurts is big by a left hand. Oh, he's hurt. He was hurt right there, but now he's grabbing on like it's a life preserver. And he's going to have to stay there if he's going to get through these rapids. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. And he returns on that exchange. Back and forth exchange. Not much action as he just ties up. Good solid one-two by Tommy Hearns. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. And this round comes to an end. Okay. Don't find his fight. You don't need that, I'll throw that away. Don't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. Yeah, keep your distance, all right? We got it. Okay, listen, you can throw him off. Some guys just get out of the gate well, and such is the case tonight. Teddy Scorecard has him up three rounds to zip. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Hearns has almost got like a viper quality to it, doesn't he? He just gets in there, he attacks real quick, comes in, strikes before you know what hit you. Yeah, he's very quick, and that is his style. He likes to get in, do his damage. Beautiful game plan there. Out from range and into the power. Just the way he and his trainer drew it up on the chalkboard. <laughs> hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Well timed by Tommy Hearn. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Scores up top with a left. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. That was not well targeted by the Cobra. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Keep doing what you're doing. Tommy Hearns is doing well here with that two punch combination. I shake it off. Very accurate with the overhand right. Move, move. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. Finish with the hook. Solid right by the Cobra. And now he's targeting he's upstairs. Moving. There's a straight right hand. Hook off the jab. Last 10 seconds. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And that does it for this round. The Cobra's cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things. Avertine, adrenaline, and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Good exchange, he fires back. Yeah, yeah. 
Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. He missed that uppercut. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Tommy Hearns is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Punches together now. That's a nice combination. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Hearns is doing a good job tonight on the outside. He's able to score from the outside, keeping a safe distance away from his opponent. No need to be on the inside. Nice work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. He's losing this fight. And I think it's easy to see why. He's getting hit by that left hand far too much. Well, the most elementary thing, the first thing you're taught in boxing is use your left hand. The second thing, get away from it. I guess he never learned that second thing. You know, right? Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, it gets caught. Oh, what an uppercut by Hearns. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Hearns has done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Tommy Hearns is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Big right hand. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Circle him. Move, move. Two good jabs by the Cobra. Hearns is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead. Think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. A very good movement. Very good vision. He sees everything to do this. You have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. The Cobra's well off the mark that time. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. That was another great round by him. I mean, what more can you say? He's landing the cleaner punches. He's being the boss. He's doing the job. He's about to become the winner. Carry it away, you catch it. You got that? It's gonna happen. You're gonna catch it. You're gonna catch it. Start the seventh round. 
Tommy Hearns' dominance in the first half of this fight was pronounced. Now, as this round begins, a new task for him. Finish up the second half of this fight just as strong. Yeah, that's a good point, Joe. His enemy is not only the guy in front of him, but it's being that he's got such a lead. You know, his enemy is having such great success so far. Does it get him a little bit into a lull? If he gets into a low now, he could blow that first half of the fight when he's done so well. The Cobra's showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. He's moving! He's moving! Yeah! Needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Committed to the combination punching now, and it's working out well up top. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Uppercut, great exchange. Comes across with a hook up top. And round seven comes to an end. This has been a one-sided fight as we begin round number eight here and a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Hearns has been in position all night long to score with ease. However, he has taken some damage. Just look at his face. Yeah, well, the bleeding, one thing, he's handling the blood coming into his eye. That's not bothering him too much. You can see that he's got that under control. I'm worried about the swelling under the eye. A couple more rounds, he's not going to be able to see out of that eye. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. The Cobra's in bad shape. Little head hunting with the left. The Cobra's in bad shape, but he's doing the only thing he can at this point. He's tying up. Yeah, but what I'm a little surprised at, and I think what his opponent's going to pay a price for later on, he's letting him tie up. So that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by the Cobra. The Cobra's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. He clinches when he gets to the inside. <laughs> just hugging there. He scored well after being hit himself. The Cobra's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Trying to score up top, but off the mark there. And that's the end of round eight. The Good Cobra's job, corner has quite a task in front of them now. He's hurt. Their fighter's eye swollen shut. Right now, you have to come up with some strategy. Maybe he turns his stance around where he leads now with the good eye. You know, right now the good eye is back a little bit where he can't pick up things. Maybe now he needs to change his position in the ring where at least his good eye is in front. Hearns has got to be really careful there, Teddy. I mean, he's leaving himself wide open. And what's going to happen next? He, you know, he's leaving himself open. He hasn't paid for anything yet, but that will be coming before you know it. Unable to land clean by the Cobra. Good job. 
And he just holds on there. Oh. A well-placed left hand up top. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Get out of the way. Good return fire that time. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. His ability to stay on the outside and to score and control this fight is very impressive. I know as a trainer, you got to love this. Yeah, exactly. I think that he watched Clint Eastwood and Dirty Harry. You know, Clint Eastwood used to say, a man must know his limitations. And of course, you have to know your adversary's weaknesses. Well, right now, that homework, that understanding is showing up. Relax. Relax. They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. Excellent counterpunch by Tommy Hearns. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Excellent one-two by Tommy Hearn. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. The Cobra's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. A headshot block. Not able to land the headshot. Tommy Hearns lands a big uppercut. And he engages in the clinch. Championship rounds have arrived. Teddy's scorecard has it one-sided, but you got to keep watching for a reason, and it's right in front of you. His face is battered, bruised, cut, bloodied, and with that, an opportunity for his opponent. Yeah, and right now, believe it or not, he's got to control. He's ahead in the fight, but he's got to control his fighter's temperament. He's got to stop from being too tough for his own good. Every once in a while, you know, it's okay to tie up. Take a little time off the clock. Get to the end. Range, range. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Well, he knew it was a smart strategy to stay on the outside. He probably didn't know it was going to pay off this well because he's just getting to his guy easily. Oh, yeah, if he was in the casino, I'm telling you, it's all coming up Chevy's for him. But right now, if his opponent has any shot to hit that jackpot, he needs to move that head, move those feet, get inside. You got to protect yourself. 
see him holding on. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by the Cobra. And he decides to tie up again. He's trying. there on the punch by the Cobra. And that's the end of round 11. What you're seeing in here with these two guys, cut up, swollen, going back and forth, this is why people love the fight game, because they say to themselves, I couldn't do that. I couldn't fight on it. You're exactly right. If you opened up Webster's Dictionary and you looked for the definition of a warrior, this is exactly what you would want to see. I don't want you to slug it out with this guy, all right? It is the final round. Here they go. Good block by the Cobra. Burns' oh. combination punching is working well here. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now, I don't think his opponent likes the tone of it. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Back to the bottom. Uh. He just missed that shot up top. left hand laying a trap there for a moment and then scoring that counter punch by Tommy Hearn unable to score with the uppercut that time the Cobra's right hand scores well So two guys who everybody thought had no chance of hearing the final bell now wait for the judges' scorecard. Uh, explosions early on, but later on, just a little tap dance. That's a well-earned victory by Tommy Hearns. And it's nice to see when not only all three judges have it for him, but your scorecard agrees. Yeah, it is. That doesn't mean I'm going to hang out with these guys or go to dinner with them afterwards, but right now I'm going to say job well done, guys. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.